Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have an update to my deck panning project. It was created by Emily and Max, inspired by Books with Maddie. I always leave everything you need to know in the description box. Um, I won't re-explain every time what this project is, but just quick overview. We use a deck of cards to pull prompts for choosing makeup that we want to pan. So, well, let's just get into it. This is not a very exciting update, I'll tell you right now, because I actually haven't hit my goal on any of these products, but I am going to roll a new one in. Um, yeah, because I just think that's fun, and that's all. <laughs> that's my reason. So I have a game board pulled up on my computer, um, but first let's go over the products that were that are in this project. I am filming this early. Well, it's late compared to everyone else because these videos are meant to go up on the 20th of every month and Emily shuffles the game board on the 10th so you have like time to film. But I was already late when I started and I'm actually going on vacation soon and I'm filming a bunch of videos early so my progress is not that great but part of it is because I'm a little early if anyone cares. <laughs> but so let's just get into this. For the prompt um, this time last year I pulled my Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette and my goal is to use this 10 times and I've only used it once. <laughs> so it looks like this. I have the light version of course. Um, I did use this when I did use it. I used everything. I used all the eyeshadows, the highlighter, and the blush. And honestly, I didn't love the look. But I was also using it when we went on a little staycation. So, you know when you're in like a hotel bathroom and it's just not the same lighting. So maybe that had something to do with it. But I was kind of like, eh, when I <laughs> finished my look with this. So I'll have to try it again. Um, I, I think it maybe it was the blush that was just not like vibrant enough for me. I need like something that has more color. And this is like it looks kind of deep in the pan but when it's sheared out it's not like a very vibrant shade on me. Um, and I did really like the shimmers but they're very difficult to pick up on a brush and I don't love using my finger to apply eyeshadow when I have long nails especially. Well I just cut them a little, they're more like square now, but at the time they were like pointy. So I really, you know, I had to use my brush to get into certain areas, but yeah I'm gonna keep using this of course. I love how it looks like when I'm looking at it, but I don't know. It just kind of underwhelmed me, which I'm kind of disappointed about. Because I was like hyping this up in my mind. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so nine more uses to go on this. But I don't have to use the whole thing. Like if I use just the highlighter, that counts as a use. So shouldn't be too difficult. The next prompt I pulled was affordable. And for that I chose my e.l.f. Uh, hydrating Camo Concealer. I have the shade Fair Warm and I was a little worried pulling this in because I didn't think I really liked this concealer but I've actually kind of grown to like this a lot and I've learned that as long as I don't set this concealer <laughs> then I don't hate it as much because it, it even though this is the hydrating version I find like it does have like a matte finish on my skin so if I put powder on top of that, it kind of just like looks crepey on me. So the key with this is of course not to use too much product and then I just don't need to set it. And I've mentioned this in another video, um, even though I don't set it, it's not one that creases much. So I really like it for that reason. It's not my favorite concealer like overall, but I don't mind having it in this project. I've actually used this six times already and my goal is to use it ten so this will probably be 
be rolled out the next update. The next product was for random uses. So I chose a lipstick. Well, I don't, I don't think I really chose this. I think I used my Tiny Decisions app probably. And I landed on this ABH lipstick mini in the shade Kiss. Yeah, this is the matte lipstick. Um, my goal, so because it was the random use prompt, I used my Pretty Random app and I got six. So I had to use this six times and I've only used it once. <laughs> and today is the first time that I'm wearing it. I actually really like it, especially with the lip liner I have, which is uh, Mac Soar. That's in my whole collection project pen and they're like perfect together so yeah and even though this is a matte lipstick i i don't find like it like you can see even on camera it still has kind of like a sheen to it and it feels creamy i did have a lip balm on underneath so maybe that has something to do with it but i actually really like it but i think these have been reformulated, right? Or did she just come out with a new line of lipstick? I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. So I don't know if this even exists anymore, but it was in the shade Kiss. And I have four of these, so I'm happy. <laughs> not of this shade, but of this matte lipstick formula. So I'm happy that I like it. But I do need to use it five more times. Um, then for the prompt spray, I pulled in my Bath & Body Works Frosted Coconut Snowball Fine Fragrance Mist. This is just what I always go back to in the winter. Um, you'd think I'd have more use on it, considering it's been like two or three years. <laughs> but I don't wear this um, like any other time of year. And I am also wearing fragrances sometimes, and I don't wear body spray and fragrance at the same time. So um, I'm only down to here, and my goal, I didn't have a use goal on this. I wanted to use up half of what was left. Um, so when I started, I mean, it was probably not much higher, probably like here. So if I say to use half, as long as it's below the fine, the French here, then I'm considering that my goal hit. But I don't think that's going to happen because in the spring, I'm not going to want to wear this. <laughs> so we'll see about that. But either way, like this is kind of like a silly product to have in this project because I would be using it anyway. But yeah. There you are. So, more to come on that one. I am tracking my uses on it though, and I have, I well I wrote down that I used it nine times. I'm pretty sure it was like more like 11 or 12, but because I don't have a use goal, I'm not really thinking about it. It's just if I re remember, then I, I write it in my spreadsheet. <laughs> Then the last product was for the Prompt Indie, and I rolled in an eyeshadow palette. I still am not sure if this is really an indie brand, but from what I could tell it is. Um, it's the brand Eloise, and this is the Queen palette. I got this in a boxy charm, and I had never used it before this project. So I put a goal to use it five times, and I've worn it once. So not the best but I am working on other eyeshadows as you'll see in another video but when I did use this I really liked the look I used this entire row here I used that for a look and I really liked it the only thing I find I found was at the end of the day everything kind of like blended together you know that kind of formula I think it's when like shimmers have too much like of an oiliness to them where they just kind of melt together on the eyes. I think that's what happened because I did use this shade um, from like the inner corner to the middle blended into this more purple one but by the end of the day it looked like one shade. So I'm not sure 
Maybe next time I'll try this with my NYX glitter glue and see if that makes a difference. Because I do love the color story of this palette, so I hope that was just a one-time thing. So I will be using this four more times to get my full thoughts on it. And I actually realized, like recently, I have another eyeshadow palette from this brand in my collection. Also from BoxyCharm, so I hope I end up liking this. <laughs> But anyway, use that once out of five times. So as you can see, I did not hit my goal on anything. The only thing I think will be rolled out next time, well, I'm pretty sure, well, I am going on vacation and I don't know if I'm going to be using this, but I think this will be rolled out because I only have to use it four more times, the concealer. So let's just roll in another product, hopefully only one, <laughs> just for fun. So I do have the game board, like I said, on my screen here. And I did already shuffle my cards and I pulled out one of the jokers because there are two jokers in this deck and you only are meant to have one. Because if you get the joker, it's the prompt, are you joking? And then you have to pick a product that you really don't want to pan. <laughs> so I hope I don't get the joker and I hope I don't get um, a red face card or ace. Wait, what's the one? No, yeah, a red ace. Then I'll have to add another product. So let's see. I just pull from the top of the deck and I haven't even looked at the prompt, so this will be exciting. I hope I'm scared. Uh oh, ace of clubs. Okay, Ace of Clubs is Focus. Focus. I'm not really sure what that means. So let's look at the descriptions. Reflect on the panning goals you set at the beginning of the year. I didn't really set any panning goals at the beginning of the year. I mean, an overall goal I do have is to curate my collection more. And by, well, I, I do have this box here that I've mentioned in other videos that's like on the chopping block. So I use that for lip products and eyeshadow palettes. I try them on and if I don't love them, I declutter them because they're products that I already consider decluttering, but I have to see if I like them or not first. So that's how I've been doing that kind of thing because otherwise like I'm still buying stuff. <laughs> um, I am on a cream blush no buy and yeah, I'd like to not have as many lip products so maybe should I does that mean I should pull a cream blush I'm just talking out loud I don't know if this is making sense to anybody because I mean I do have a cream blush already but it's in this palette I mean I could pull a cream blush because I can use cream blush and powder blush at the same time I'm not sure if I'm like understanding this prompt very well. But I probably should work on cream products because they go bad faster than powder. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll find a cream blush in my collection and I'll come back to show you what that is. Okay, that actually didn't take long at all. I decided, well, to be honest, I use my Tiny Decisions app as usual, but in my mind I was like, I'll only pick like the cream blush that comes up, and this is actually the first thing that came up. The Maybelline Cheek Heat Sheer Gel Cream Blush in the shade Coral Ember. So, I think this is a good product for this time of year because it's kind of like springtime-ish to me. Um, there isn't much use on this to begin with, but if I remember correctly, I do need to use a lot of this at a time because it's very sheer. 
actually it's full of air also okay that's the shade so yeah you can see <laughs> it like blends out to nothing almost so yeah we'll see if i even still like this because i do find like i said in the beginning i'm looking for blushes that are more vibrant um, I just feel like that's more flattering on my face um, when my blush, you know, it makes me look more awake, I guess. I don't know. Um, today, I, I'm wearing the One Size Cheek Clapper, one of the trios, and I really like that. And that is also, I think, described as coral, but yeah. I need something like this that you can see on my face. So we'll see if I even end up liking this. I might just use this like underneath other blushes. Um, but I guess we'll do a 10 use goal. I can't see through this packaging so I have no idea how much is in here. But it honestly feels like not very full. It feels mostly like air. So yeah. That's what I'm picking. <laughs> so yes, let's do 10 uses on this and see where we get to. I feel like that was not a very exciting video. <laughs> but I had to do my update or else I would miss a whole month, you know? So yeah, anyway, I hope you like this video. If you're doing the deck of panning project also, let me know below. And if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!